There is a reason why you might have few or no friends. Let me ask you this. Have you ever felt like you're on a different wavelength than everyone else around you? It's like you're tuned into a unique frequency and suddenly the crowd you used to blend in with feels alien. This experience, my friend, might just be a sign of your spiritual awakening. But here's the catch. It can also be the reason why you're feeling isolated. Even at times when there are others around you, you get a sense of feeling alone. In this video, we're diving into the signs of spiritual awakening. The first one being the shift in relationships. You see, when you begin to awaken spiritually, your perspectives start to shift. Things that used to matter a lot seem trivial now. You find yourself questioning the norms, the shallowness of certain conversations, and even the authenticity of your connections. It's like you've been seeing the world in black and white and suddenly it's in color. But not everyone can see these colors. This shift can be disorienting, leaving you feeling like an outsider in your own circle. This isolation isn't just about having fewer friends, it's about the transformation within you. You're evolving, growing in ways that are profound but not always visible to the naked eye. You begin to seek deeper connections, ones that nourish your soul rather than just fill up your social calendar. It's not that you're becoming antisocial, it's that your soul is yearning for something more, something real. This yearning for something more profound and real isn't a new phenomenon. Throughout history, there have been individuals who have felt this call deeply, leading them to periods of solitude. These people, often monks or spiritual seekers, believed that in silence and solitude, they could find the answers they were searching for. Monks, for instance, have a long tradition of embracing solitude. In various religions, monks retreat to monasteries, far from the hustle and bustle of regular life. These monasteries serve as sanctuaries of peace, where monks dedicate their lives to prayer, meditation, and understanding deeper truths. In the silence of these sacred spaces, they believe they can connect more intimately with the divine or their inner self. This practice isn't just limited to monks. History is replete with stories of sages, hermits, and even ordinary individuals who have sought solitude to deepen their understanding of life and themselves. For example, in Eastern traditions, it's not uncommon to hear about yogis who retreated into the Himalayas for years, seeking enlightenment. These individuals believed that by removing themselves from the distractions of everyday life, they could achieve a higher state of consciousness. In the Western world, too, we find similar stories. Think of Henry David Thoreau, who spent two years in a cabin in the woods, seeking to live simply and delve into his thoughts without the interference of society. His experiences, recorded in his famous book, Walden, highlight how solitude can lead to profound insights and a deeper appreciation for life. But it's important to remember that seeking solitude doesn't necessarily mean abandoning society altogether. It's more about finding balance. It's about creating space in your life to be alone with your thoughts, to listen to your inner voice without the constant noise of the world around you. This can be as simple as spending a few minutes each day in quiet reflection, or as complex as taking a sabbatical to explore your inner world. But let's pause for a moment. Have you noticed how you no longer enjoy small talk? How the usual gossip or weekend plans don't excite you anymore? This is a pivotal moment in your journey. You're not losing interest in people. You're gaining interest in meaningful interactions. It's a subtle yet powerful shift that often goes unnoticed until you find yourself alone on a Friday night, wondering why you declined that party invitation. This transition can be tough. You might feel misunderstood, judged, or even abandoned by those you once considered close. It's a path that can be lonely, but remember, it's also a path of authenticity. You're shedding layers that no longer resonate with your true self, and in this process, it's natural to feel like an outcast. But here's the beautiful part. As you move through this phase, you start attracting people who are on the same wavelength as you. Your tribe might get smaller, but it becomes more significant. These new connections will be more profound, more aligned with who you are and who you're becoming. It's a journey from quantity to quality, from superficial to substantial. 
As we continue to explore the signs of this profound inner transformation, we arrive at the second sign, the intensification of sensitivity. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the intensity of your emotions or perhaps by the energies around you? This heightened sensitivity is more than just a fleeting mood. It's a pivotal aspect of your spiritual awakening. Suddenly the world seems louder, brighter, more intense. You're not just seeing, you're perceiving. You're not just hearing, you're listening. Every sense is amplified, and with this amplification comes a deeper understanding of the world and your place in it. This newfound sensitivity can manifest in various ways. Perhaps you find yourself deeply moved by a piece of music, or maybe you're more affected by the news than you used to be. You might feel an overwhelming empathy towards others, sensing their joy and pain as if it were your own. This can be both a blessing and a burden. While it allows you to experience life more fully, it can also leave you feeling exposed, raw, vulnerable. This intensity is not just limited to emotions. Your physical senses might sharpen too. You may notice nuances in tastes and smells that you previously overlooked. The texture of fabric, the hues of colors, the subtleties in sounds, everything feels magnified. This can lead to an overwhelming sense of being bombarded by sensory information, making everyday environments feel suddenly overstimulating. But why does this happen? As you awaken spiritually, your awareness expands. You start connecting with the world on a more profound level, tapping into subtleties that were previously unnoticed. This sensitivity is a sign that you're opening up, that your consciousness is expanding beyond the confines of your previous self. Navigating this heightened sensitivity can be challenging. You might find yourself needing more alone time, seeking quiet spaces to recharge and process your experiences. It's important to remember that this is not a retreat from the world, but rather a way to find balance in your expanding awareness. One belief and practice that aligns with the topic of intensification of sensitivity is meditation. Meditation is a centuries-old practice that has been used by people from various cultures and backgrounds to enhance their sensitivity to their inner selves and the world around them. Meditation involves the deliberate focus of attention and elimination of distractions, allowing individuals to connect with their inner thoughts, emotions and sensations. Through this practice, individuals often report heightened sensitivity to their own feelings and a deeper understanding of their inner world. Meditation can help individuals become more attuned to their emotions. As mentioned earlier, heightened sensitivity can lead to intense emotions. Meditation can be a tool to navigate these emotions effectively. By sitting in silence and observing their thoughts and feelings without judgment, individuals can develop a greater awareness of their emotional states. This heightened emotional awareness can lead to better emotional regulation and a greater sense of inner peace. Additionally, meditation can enhance sensory perception. When individuals meditate, they often focus on their breath or a specific point of attention. This heightened focus can lead to a greater awareness of physical sensations. People may notice the subtle rise and fall of their breath, the feeling of the ground beneath them, or the sensation of the air on their skin. This increased sensitivity to physical sensations can carry over into daily life, allowing individuals to experience the world with greater depth and richness. As you adjust to this new level of sensitivity, you'll begin to see it not as a hurdle, but as a gift. It allows you to experience life with a depth and richness that was previously unimaginable. It connects you to the world in a way that is profoundly personal and deeply meaningful. Now, we arrive at the third sign, the quest for authenticity and truth. This aspect of spiritual awakening is pivotal as it shapes your interactions with the world and yourself. Have you ever caught yourself questioning the norms, the very fabric of your reality? You start to look beyond the surface, yearning for something genuine, something real. This quest for authenticity isn't just about seeking truth in the world around you. It's also about uncovering the truth within yourself. It's a deep dive into the core of your being, questioning long-held beliefs and values. 
This journey towards authenticity often starts with introspection. You might find yourself spending more time in self-reflection, examining your thoughts, feelings and actions. It's like you're peeling back layers, uncovering aspects of yourself that were hidden or ignored. This process can be uncomfortable, even painful at times, as it challenges you to confront parts of yourself that you may not be proud of. But it's also liberating, as it brings you closer to your true self. Your quest for authenticity also changes how you interact with the world. You become more discerning about the information you consume, the conversations you engage in, and the company you keep. Superficial chatter, hollow relationships, and societal facades lose their appeal. You crave depth, honesty, and sincerity in all forms of communication. It's not about being critical or judgmental. It's about aligning your external life with your inner truth. This alignment isn't always easy. It can lead to conflicts with societal norms and expectations. You might find yourself at odds with the status quo, feeling like an outsider as you pursue a path less traveled. But this is the essence of your awakening. It's a journey of breaking free from the illusions and embracing the truth no matter how uncomfortable or unconventional it may be. In the world of medieval philosophy, there was a thinker who embodied the quest for authenticity and truth in his own unique way. His name was Thomas Aquinas, and he was a theologian and philosopher who lived in the 13th century. While the times he lived in were vastly different from our own, his pursuit of truth and authenticity remains a timeless example of the human quest for understanding. Thomas Aquinas was a deeply introspective individual, in his search for authenticity, he turned inward to explore the depths of his own beliefs and convictions. He questioned the norms of his time, which were often dictated by the church and its teachings. Aquinas believed in the importance of reason and rationality in understanding the world and God's creation. This was a departure from the blind acceptance of religious dogma that prevailed in his era. Much like the modern quest for authenticity that involves introspection and self-reflection, Aquinas engaged in profound philosophical introspection. He sought to reconcile faith with reason, believing that both were essential in the search for truth. This inner exploration was not always comfortable, as it challenged the established beliefs of his time and sometimes put him at odds with the religious authorities. Aquinas also changed the way he interacted with the world around him. He engaged in deep and meaningful conversations with fellow scholars and thinkers, striving for intellectual honesty and sincerity. His writings, such as the Summa Theologica, reflect his commitment to pursuing depth and clarity in his arguments. Aquinas was not content with superficial explanations. He delved into the profound questions of existence and morality. In his quest for authenticity, Aquinas aligned his external life with his inner truth. He advocated for the importance of virtue and ethics in human behavior. He believed that living a virtuous life was essential to being in harmony with one's true self and with God. This alignment with inner values was not always easy, as it meant challenging the societal norms of his time. In relationships, this quest for authenticity can be particularly challenging. You seek connections that are based on truth and depth, but such relationships are rare. It's not uncommon to feel a sense of loneliness as you navigate this path, but remember, this loneliness is not a sign of failure. It's a testament to your commitment to authenticity. As we venture into the fourth sign, we encounter a profound aspect, the emergence of a new sense of purpose. Have you ever woken up one day with the realization that what you've been pursuing all your life no longer satisfies you? This is not just a midlife crisis or a fleeting whim. It's a fundamental shift in your life's direction, a re-evaluation of what truly matters to you. This new sense of purpose is about aligning your actions with your deepest values and passions. It's about finding meaning in things beyond the materialistic or conventional achievements. This emergence often starts with a feeling of restlessness, a sense that something is missing or incomplete in your life. You might find yourself questioning your career, your goals, even your hobbies. What once gave you satisfaction now feels hollow or unfulfilling. 
This can be unsettling as it shakes the very foundations of your identity and place in the world. But this restlessness is actually a call to action, a prompt from your deeper self to seek out a path that is more in tune with your true nature. It's an invitation to explore new possibilities, to learn, to grow, and to contribute in ways that are meaningful to you. This doesn't necessarily mean making drastic changes like quitting your job or moving to a different country, though for some it might. It's more about reorienting your life around values and activities that resonate with your soul. As you embrace this new sense of purpose, you may notice a change in your priorities and choices. You might gravitate towards activities that nourish your spirit, engage in work that feels impactful, and spend time with people who inspire and uplift you. This shift is not about rejecting your past, but about building a future that is more aligned with who you are becoming. This profound journey aligns with a philosophy known as existentialism, which emphasizes individual freedom, choice, and personal responsibility. Existentialism teaches us that we are the architects of our own lives, and it's up to us to find our own path and meaning in life. This philosophy doesn't focus on what society deems as successful or valuable. Instead, it urges us to look inward and discover our true desires and aspirations. At the heart of existentialism is the belief that life inherently has no meaning except for what we give it. This can be both a daunting and liberating realization. It's daunting because it means there are no universal answers or predefined paths to follow. But it's also liberating because it empowers us to create our own purpose and to find joy and satisfaction in the choices we make. When you start to question your life's direction and feel that restlessness, it's an existential moment. It's a sign that you're ready to take responsibility for your life and make choices that are more in line with your authentic self. This process requires a lot of courage and self-reflection. It might involve exploring your passions, trying new things and sometimes taking risks. It's also important to acknowledge that this journey towards a new sense of purpose is not always easy or straightforward. There may be moments of doubt, fear and uncertainty, but existentialism teaches us that these feelings are a natural part of the human experience. They are not obstacles to be avoided, but challenges to be embraced as they help us grow and deepen our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. It's important to note that finding and embracing your new sense of purpose is a journey, not a destination. It involves trial and error, learning and evolving. There might be moments of doubt or fear as stepping into the unknown is rarely comfortable. But these challenges are part of the growth process, shaping you into a more conscious, fulfilled individual. Now we delve into the fifth and perhaps the most transformative sign, the expansion of consciousness and compassion. This expansion is not just a broadening of your intellectual understanding, it's a deepening of your emotional and spiritual awareness. Have you ever felt a sudden surge of empathy, an ability to feel what others are feeling, or a deep connection with the universe at large? This is the expansion of consciousness, a realization that you are part of something much larger than yourself. As your consciousness expands, you begin to see the interconnectedness of all life, you recognize that your actions, thoughts and feelings are not isolated events, but are part of the intricate web of existence. This realization brings a sense of responsibility, a desire to live in harmony with others and the planet. You start to see the world not just through the lens of your own needs and desires, but with a vision of collective well-being. Compassion naturally flows from this expanded consciousness, it's no longer about feeling sorry for others, it's about truly understanding their struggles and wanting to help alleviate them. This compassion extends beyond humanity to all living beings and the environment. You start to take actions, big or small, that contribute to the welfare of others and the planet. It could be as simple as being kinder in your daily interactions, volunteering, or making more environmentally conscious choices. This expanded consciousness and compassion also bring a sense of peace and contentment. You find joy in the well-being of others and satisfaction in contributing to the greater good. 
This is not to say that life becomes free of challenges, but your approach to these challenges changes. You start to view them as opportunities for growth and learning, both for yourself and for those around you. In conclusion, the fifth sign of spiritual awakening, the expansion of consciousness and compassion, is perhaps the most impactful. It signifies a shift from a self-centered existence to a more inclusive, empathetic and connected way of life. As you embark on this journey, remember that each step, no matter how small, contributes to your spiritual growth and the betterment of the world around you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.